Hi, Cancers. This is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless love reading. For my singles, this is for new love coming in. Who is coming towards you? What's what is this connection going to be like? Any clues that spirit wants to share with me today? So welcome back to my Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and any cross watcher. Let's see what's coming your way. New love, next relationship, future spouse, new boyfriend, new partner. Spirit, please share with me. What guidance do you have for my Cancers today? What is it that you need them to hear? I am listening for you now. Let's see what we have. I have gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So staying in a state of gratitude brings more abundance into your life, abundance of love, everything. Just, you know, it's all about gratitude, being grateful for everything that you have every day. I have envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. So don't ever compare yourself to anybody else. That's that's a hard thing not to do, but um, you want to just know that you're special. You're amazing. You're perfect. You, you are exactly how God created you. So try not to compare yourself to anybody else or what anybody else ever has. And I have surrender. I can release my need to control any situation that I'm in or anything that I'm struggling with right now. Uh, time, divine timing, uh, people in my life, people's energy in my life. Um, you have the ability to surrender. And I have acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change and change the things that I can. So here is this beautiful thing of acceptance. So gratitude and acceptance are, are really uh, strong energies around you right now. And so stay in that energy. Those are high vibration energies and those are going to help you attract the love that you are worthy and deserving of. Spirit, welcome everybody. Welcome back everybody. Please share with me the messages that you have for anybody who found this message. Who's coming into our life? What is it that you have for us? Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Comment below. So grateful always for those things. Let's see what we have. I have a higher fan. I have an empress. I create what I choose naturally and with joy. Absolutely. I have a four pentacles. I trust I am always safe, always safe, always protected. And I have the moon. My intuition guides me to the right decision. So I'm working through some fears. I'm working through some opening up. I'm working on my spiritual growth. I feel like you are attracting someone into your life because of who you are. You could be very intuitive. You could be very empathic. Your heart could be opening up. So it's this feeling of, I have so much love to give and this person sees my heart. They see me for who I am. So it could be the first thing they notice about you. They could say, you know what? You're the kindest person I have ever met. You are the sweetest person I have ever met. You are um, so good to me, or I've never had anybody so caring um, in my life. So it could be your heart. It's almost the sense of your heart attracts them, you know, and um, and they just feel you right down to their soul. Um, so your big heart, I'm going to say your big heart, <laughs> you know, there's something about your big heart going on here with me. Spirit, tell me what else you need me to hear. I have a two of wands. I focus on what I want and I make it happen. I see the future. Queen of Cups. I trust my knowing and I follow my heart. Now this, again, the big heart, this feeling of somebody falling in love with you for you, somebody falling in love with you because of, you know, that you're, I don't know, you have a, a, a sense about you that you know what's right for you, you know what's wrong for you, um, you know what you want in your life, what you don't want in your life. And I feel like everybody around you knows that, and I feel like they're guided by you also. Um, you could be a healer to, to people, to friends, um, to colleagues. You could be a great listener. Um, the, the person coming into your life, I feel like identifies that within you as well. And they just see that it's almost a sense of um, a, a, a charm. There's a, that charm about you is that 
everybody loves you <laughs> is how it's coming into me. So they can't imagine anybody not loving you. I manifest perfectly what I desire. So this beautiful magician energy, 10 of pentacles, abundance coming into you. You know, the people who are good to everybody else get a good turn in life. You know, the people who put out the garbage to everybody else attract the karmic energy into their life. Karma is the payback. But when you are loving and you're kind and you're caring, you are bringing in this beautiful abundance. And whether it's an abundance of love, abundance of wealth, you've got somebody who sees a future with you because of your kindness and your kind heart. So good for you. You know, it's like the one time in your life that just doing the right thing and being a good person is paying off for you because it's bringing you the perfect person for you into your into your life. So that's all I want you to do. I just want you to be yourself. I just want you to love yourself and, and think about what's best for you and know that the person that's coming into your life is going to appreciate you for all of those things. I have a hermit. This person may be alone right now. They could be uh, not in any kind of relationship. They could be, I've been single for a while. I, I haven't been in a relationship for a while. And I've been looking for somebody just like you. I didn't want to settle. Ten of cups. I want to be in a relationship that's going to work and it's going to be emotionally fulfilling. So this is somebody who's not willing to settle. This is somebody who's going to choose wisely and pick 10 of wands, 10 of pentacles. Um, and uh, so the number 10 is significant for some reason. I, I just want to grab an angel number for one second. I have the bottom of the deck. I have a star. Let me just grab 1010 10 because I, I just feel like I'm being called to that. Um, but just the way that I said 1010, 1010, um, 10, I'm patient. Okay, so it's just another message for you. I've got, um, let's grab the star, the bottom of the deck, and I have 1010. 10. Keep your thoughts positive and be patient as everything is working out for your highest good. Trust that your angels are working behind the scenes to help you. So if you're struggling with when, we're going to get some answers today. Maybe we'll get a timeline today. But uh, your dreams are coming true. They know what you want. You know, if you're the hermit and you've been waiting and you've been single for a long time and it's been a struggle and I'm tired of waiting, um, it's spirit's way of saying it's OK. We know what you want. And, you know, we're working for your highest good and, and your best good. So sometimes we just need to be reminded that it's it's all going to be OK and that you're going to be with the person that you really do want to be with someday. So Spirit, please share with me what is it that you have for this connection? I have a unity, a time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. You radiate and attract great love. It's absolutely, that is what that is what's going on. You radiate, you radiate and attract this sense of your heart. Um, it's, it's like they're attracted to your heart. You know, it, it has, um, of course you're gorgeous or beautiful or handsome or amazing or hot or whatever, but it's, it's a feeling of that's not what they're falling in love with. They're falling in love with your heart. They're falling in love with your goodness, your kindness. And that is, that is what has attracted them to you. Luck is on your side. Look for the four leaf clover. We're heading into St. Patrick's day. So maybe we're very close right around the corner. You are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities. An opportunity is ahead. A person is ahead. Um, look for that four leaf clover in the next days. And then I have a plane. A journey is indicated either physically or metamorphically. Your life will become more full. You're ready to start a journey. Your luck is about to change. This feeling of you've radiated this and attracted this love into your life. Um, but I like this feeling of your luck is, is, is about to change, you know, like if you just feel like I keep meeting the wrong people, I am, I'm struggling with attracting the wrong energies. Um, well, maybe spirit saying this is, this is our turning point for you. Let's get some clues. Let's see what letters they have. I have an intellectual. We talk about everything. Somebody who's very bright, smart, educated. I have a letter O. I have an M. I have tall, 
I have the letter D. I have a B. The letter T. I have a Q. Short, somebody short, somebody shorter than the other person. I have loyal, good, affectionate. I have the letter W. Letter J. I have an X. I have curves. I have the letter S. I have, they're funny, they make you laugh. Great sense of humor. We're having a good time in this connection. The letter Z and a letter E for some clues. Let's get some, what are they going to feel, spirit? What are their feelings? I love this feeling of a big heart. I love this feeling of, I love your heart. I want to have a family. I want to have a combined family. I want your children to become part of my life. You know, something along those lines. You can be honest. You are safe with me. There's nothing you can't tell me. Be vulnerable. Open up. Cry. Laugh. You know, don't hold back. I want, I want this connection. When will you come to me? It's almost a feeling that you're going to find them. Um, they could be searching for you, but you may recognize them first. You may recognize them as a soul counterpart first. You may see something in them that um, is is more than you know just that first impression that this could be something more so you may find them you will hear from me soon I'm going to be reaching out I feel close to an answer I want to tell you how I feel when this happens okay I won't give up on this connection I love that I want to tell you, I want you to tell me your dreams so I can share them with you. I want to have the same dreams. I think that that's important when you meet somebody that you both have the same kind of goals in life or you both want the same thing. You're both thinking ahead about what it is that you want for your own futures, what's important for both of you. Uh, you both want to be in alignment with those things. I do feel like it's a past life connection. When will you come to me? Felt like a, a past life connection. Like, will you find me? Are you looking for me? So that's beautiful too. If you knew my dark past, would you still want me? I feel like there's nothing that you can't talk about. If there's, you know, everybody kind of has, I don't want to say skeletons in their closet, but things that they're embarrassed about or things they wish they hadn't done when they were younger even, you know, so so what? You know, you learn from it. You're a different person. That's not who you are today. You just put it out there and say, you know what? This was in my past, but it's not part who I am today. I know that you are my true love. I want a true love spirit. I, I want my true love to come into my life. And I do feel like that that is on its way. Let's get some additional messages. What else do you have for my cancers? today spirit um if you were guided to this reading these are a little difficult to shuffle so i'm just going to grab them slowly um i've got this beautiful heart close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful you can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in so close your eyes you do deserve joy manifest this love you deserve to be happy. You have this beautiful big heart that spirit is saying somebody is going to fall in love with. So that is what's so important. Let's get a couple more of these. Let's go with this person. And I have, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Can we get rid of the thoughts that no longer serve us? Can we eliminate them. I know that broken record that we all have that, that keeps us sometimes paralyzed in, in the space and time. Can we let that go? And let's go with this pretty card. How pretty. And criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. So the person who comes into your life who knows you, understands you, um, accepts you, good, bad, and ugly, you know, um, doesn't criticize you for all the little things. And, you know, nobody's perfect. Nobody is, you know, there's no such thing as a perfect relationship. Um, so the person who comes into your life and says, you know what, you have such a big heart and I'm so in love with you because of 
so much love that you have to give and that you want to give. So that is what attracts this person to you. It's your big heart. Spirit, when is this love coming into my cancer's life? When is it that you have um, this love arriving? Timeline, what do you have for us? Ah. <sighs> Four leaf clover again. <laughs> Make a wish. Your luck is changing. I think that that's important. I don't get that very often. That's important. It's up to you. Keep your eyes open. You may find your person before they find you. You may see them first. I have an August energy, the heat of the summer. We could really be in love with this person by August, something like that. I have in the spring, in March beautiful energies. Let's put this out into the universe. I love that this person sees your big heart. I love that this person is drawn to you because of how amazing and good and kind you are to everybody around you. So it's paying off. Luck is on your side. It's about to happen. I want to thank Spirit for these messages today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for your kind words and your comments. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please go to my website, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.